Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to start a new chapter in astronomy. We're going to talk about ancient astronomy, the history of astronomy, especially the things that early astronomers saw and began to discover. And then we're getting to the more modern astronomy like in the Renaissance period and then into the more modern period and see how things were discovered over time. But back in the old days, in the ancient days, we didn't see astronomy, at least not we were not around, but the people who were around, they saw astronomy in a very different way. It was a lot of, of observations of the, the night sky, seeing the stars, seeing the planets move through the sky relative to the stars, seeing the seasons change, and seeing the place where the sun would rise in the morning and set in the evening change from day to day and throughout the year, sending out the onset of summer and onset of winter. So the most important events probably in people's lives back then is knowing when the days would stop getting shorter and when the days would stop getting longer and when it would be time to maybe start to harvest and when it would be time to maybe start planting things and starting to work in the fields. That kind of thing, it all depended upon the year. And really ob observing the, the position of the sun from day to day and knowing how when the days were getting shorter and the sun began to rise further and further south looking towards the east and knowing how the days and the, got, got shorter and how the, the temperature got colder and how the climate became miserable for many people living in the Northern Hemisphere. And then knowing that at some point when the sun would stop sinking further and further down behind that horizon where the days would be shorter and shorter, when that would then stop and then all of a sudden the sun would start appearing sooner in the morning, earlier in the morning, days would start getting longer and slowly over time it would get warmer again. So this must have been a tremendous event for the people. And so the event of summer solstice and winter solstice, especially winter solstice, must have been very, very important to the people. And so therefore, all kinds of monuments and all kinds of buildings and, and things were erected back in the ancient days to try and capture the position of the sun on a particular day so they would know that that would then turn around the events and things would start changing again. So as we can see here in this primitive drawing that I have before us, that there was a time that the sun would move further and further into a sudden position away from the east and so during the winter solstice the sun would then start appearing quite a ways to the right if you then look directly towards the east to the right maybe looking towards the, the, the south and sun would appear on the very short days the sun would then rise in the sky at a very shallow angle and disappear not very many hours later but in the summer the summer solstice the sun would rise much closer to the north, much more directed towards the north. The sun would come up in the sky, come fairly close to the zenith above us, depending upon where we live. If you live further south, like in southern Egypt or so, the sun would pass the point directly above your head. And so the summer days were warm, they were long, and they're very pleasant. It all has to do with the tilt of the earth. If you see the sun over here, and then this, the line that connects the path of the earth around the sun, that plane, we call that the ecliptic plane, the plane that the Earth makes as it goes around the Sun. And you can see since the Earth is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degrees, you can see that in the summer, being in the very same spot on the Earth as this person over there, you can see that you're directed much more towards the Sun. The Sun would come up much higher in the sky, days would be longer, temperatures would be much, much uh, higher. Then here you can see that the sun would barely reach you at this position on the earth and that the days would only be a few hours long before the earth would turn and you would then disappear behind the horizon the sun could no longer reach you. So definitely this was winter, very cold, summer and very warm. It all had to do with the tilt of the earth. Of course people didn't know that at the time, although when, you, when the, the very famous scientists of ancient days began to try and make sense out of it all, they began to realize that there was something to the fact the position of the earth and the sun relative in angles like that and we'll get more into that in just a moment but the fact that this happened year after year and that everything on the livelihood and the and what happened with people had to do with the changing of the climate and knowing what's happening a lot of buildings were erected a lot of structures were erected and we're going to take a look at some of those to get a feel of that to get an appreciation of what it must have been like for the people back then and much how much importance they put into understanding these concepts at least if they didn't understand at least knowing when those events would happen. So stay tuned and we'll get into that a lot more in the future videos. Welcome to <laughs> What was I gonna say? Alright, I think I'm ready.